In this tutorial video, I will demonstrate how to use XNURBS to create car side mirror. This demo is the first part of creating the mirror model. It shows the creation of production surfaces from a set of curved network and makes a quick comparison with standard surfacing tools. As shown here, the demo also shows how to blend G2 continuity into G0 continuity with XNURBS. The demo is made by XNURBS version 5.1. Version 5.1 significantly reduces the deviation, and the deviation achieved can be easily 10 times smaller compared with the previous version. Let's get started. Start XNURBS. Switch on the Preview option. For these particular production surfaces, we switch on the Optimize for Quad-Sided Surface option. Select Curves. For this surface, we keep the G0 continuity setting. Click the Create button to finish the surface. Next we need to split this edge into two pieces so that we can specify different continuity. Add a point to highlight the splitting. Start XNURBS and select edges. For this edge, we will need to specify a G2 continuity. Select this edge, then specify curvature continuity. Click the Create button. Let's take a look at the zebra view. As demonstrated here, the two surfaces blend G2 continuity into G0 continuity along the edge. For other patches, we just repeat the XNURBS command and complete surfaces. If you are not familiar with XNURBS, please check out our basic tutorial videos for how to use XNURBS correctly and efficiently. For this edge, we need to specify curvature continuity. For this edge, we also need G2. Let's take a look at the zebra view. For this particular model, we only use quad-sided surfaces, you may ask why we would need to use XNURBS. We use the same input and make a quick comparison between XNURBS and standard surfacing tools. This is the surface created by Curve Network. This patch is created by Sweep2 command. These standard tools create surfaces with ripples. Also the surfaces created by standard tools tend to be much heavier. On the other hand, XNURBS does a much better job creating clean surfaces. XNURBS enables designers to concentrate on designing itself and it creates high-quality surfaces on the fly. Let complete the model. As you may notice, part 1 mainly shows the use of XNURBS for quad-sided surfaces. We will produce another demo for part 2 of creating the mirror model and it will demonstrate the use of N-sided patches or trim surfaces. For this particular surface, we need switch off the Optimize for Quad-Sided Surface option because it is an N-sided patch or trim surface. Let's take a look at the zebra view. Pretty good. The max tangent deviation is 0 0.04 degree. The demo is made by XNURBS version 5.1. The deviation achieved by version 5.1 can easily be 10 times smaller compared with the previous version. Because of the deviation improvement by version 5.1, generally you shouldn't use the leftmost position of the G0 precision slider. Only use the leftmost position of G0 slider when it is absolutely necessary. Genuine version 4 and 5 customers can get a free upgrade to version 5.1. The car side mirror model is created by Vladimir Alexic. That is all for now. Check out our other tutorial videos for how to use XNURBS efficiently. Thank you for watching.